we have two economic activities last week in the US dollar that make the DSY break this resistance level of the trend line to the upside thanks to the higher than expected PPI result on Friday which push the US dollar higher against the major currency. On Thursday, we have the US dollar CPI dropped and then uh, the CPI means the consumer price index which drops negative last week Thursday. And then uh, we have the weaker US dollar. This is uh, it when the DSY come back to this level and then because of the lower CPI result. And then at the end of the day, it is shortly we saw the DSY bounce off this level and close above which means that uh, the strength has come back to the US dollar and thanks for the better than expected CPI results on Friday which confirmed that the US dollar is strong so we are now have the break of this uh, of this trend line to the upside and then we can see significant head and shoulder here uh, telling that um, we are in an uptrend right there so what are we looking at this week so before we continue with the technical analysis let's check the economy activities of last week and then the economy activities of this week how it will affect the financial market this is the weekly forest forecast i'm um, by fx so last week is another important week in the forest market which we have two important economic activities that is a uh, the i told you that we should wait for the ppi and then the cpi result and then when the cpi result drop we have the slowdown in the cpi that is in the consumer price in this and then if you put this piece of the puzzle together from the ppi and then the cpi you know that the good is expensive from the producer that is uh, from the producer level the good is expensive but when it comes to the consumer level it is more cheaper so it means that um the consumer prices is low which means that the inflation is uh, slow down from the consumer level and then they can be able to afford a lot of groceries and then uh, the economy can uh, boom from there so from the next one we have is from the uh, china cpi results which have a mixed result right there and this result actually affect the snd and then aud we have the snd and aud uh, decline last week so what are we looking at uh, this week the most economic activities for this week can be found in the commodity currency that is from aud to the canadian dollar to the nzd uh, dollar but we have some economic activities too in the us dollar that is uh the empire state manufacturing index and the retail sales uh that is uh, on tuesday and on thursday we have the unemployment claim in the united states and philly fed manufacturing pmi so this week we should see the us dollar strength continues as we don't have any economic activities that uh, might actually affect that particular uh, currency right there and uh, on the AUD, uh, on the commodity currency times that is uh, the AUD, the SND, and the canadian uh, dollar so let's look at what's going to happen on tuesday uh on their monetary policy let's see what's going to happen the wage price in this and then on the canadian dollar too they are going to drop their cpi over here on tuesday so let's see how it goes right there so this is a very very important news for the our uh, card ps and then a very important for the udps and then on thursday too we have AUD unemployment change and employment uh unemployment rate and employment change too on thursday so uh, most of the pairs you should pay attention to this week is uh, the AUDPS, the card ps and then the SNDPS, and don't forget that uh, us dollar too is strong so best opportunity might be us dollar with uh us dollar ps with most of these commodity currency that is a uh, the AUD usd the us dollar canadian dollar the SND usd especially if most of this most of this fundamental comes out negative that is if most of these uh results come out negative it means that uh you know us dollar is uh is strong and then if you now couple it with uh let's say the weaker ud the weaker canadian dollar and then the weaker as in the so it means that uh, you are going to be selling as in the usd we are going to be buying usd card and you are going to buy hd usd that will give you a good opportunity in the market this week so let's see us dollar ps with most of this commodity currency is one of the best um 
this thing for this week is one of the best pair to trade this week you are just joining us for just uh seeing this channel for the first time this is ambaya first and then this is the weekly forest forecast so kindly kindly click on the thumbs up button like subscribe and then and share and this will give me more morale to do more of this video and you have to share for others to learn as well and then coming back to the dsy we see that we have broken this particular resistance level last week of this trend line so coupled with the head and shoulder this particular which tells us that buyers are taking over this market on the dsy so what we are we looking at next so probably we might just see a little adjustment then maybe if uh to one 04.47 then if we break this level then we are going to 105.581 that is what i'm looking at on dsy so dsy strength is what i'm looking at i'm looking at to i'm looking to buy us dollar this week that is a we'll be looking to sell the Euro usd pounds usd and some other usd base uh, pairs so the first pair we want to look at is the uh let's check out XAU USD. That is a that is a gold. So here, if we check the one hour time frame, you see that uh, we are in uh, we are trapped in this channel, and then this channel serves as the real resistance at this uh, one hour time frame right there. So probably we are in a downtrend, and then uh, we are doing some series of uh, lower low, lower high, and then. Uh, low and then an eye to that channel right there. So what are we looking at from here? So we might probably see a retest of this level then a rejection to 1902. So this is where I'm looking at to enter myself at this particular area. If I see a retest of this level, that is a This resistance level right there So I'm looking for a retest of this level in the one hour time frame and my target is at 1902 so i'm looking for price uh i'm looking at price to come back and retest this level right here or this level right here so is that this one or this one then uh because uh we have not yet taken out this low right here so probably after it came to retest here we might take out uh this low and then this is my take profit target at 1902 and if you check the higher time frame we can see the formation of uh, of triple top in the gold right there as you can see we have the first top second top and the top third one which tells us that we might have the downtrend might be longer than uh, than expected so this is where i'm looking uh for the downtrend to it right here. that is one eight one two so it tells us that sellers are taking over this market even after seeing the head and shoulder that particular area. but we need to find the entry in the lower time frame but the overall direction here is to the downside so any retracement you see in good to further notice should be an opportunity for you to look for a bearish uh, setup but on the one hour time frame if you want to check our setup here so we should see a retracement back to this particular area or back to this level before a continuation to the downside and then my first take profit level should be 1902 because uh this place uh, the opposite effect might actually comes in this place to even uh price might actually bounce off this area then maybe go back to test this area before coming down to the second level but for now this is where i'm looking to take my sales setup at this area or this particular area right here to 1902 so that is what i'm looking at on good so the next pair i want to check so on the previous dollar we, we can see that uh, we have break this to the downside but there is more level here to break at this area this is a very strong uh, support level at this particular area right there very strong support level so where are we looking at here this is one hour time frame so let's zoom and then see what's going on right there so first we have break this uh this trend line to to the downside and then it has did the retest so which means that um, i might be entering at the price level at this particular area and then maybe my first take profit should be yeah that is almost 80 pips to the downside when market opens that's what i'm looking at when market opens right there. and then we can still use another thing to determine 
our entry right there so subsequently we might actually see a retracement back to this place and then a, re a subsequent rejection at that area so let's see if we'll see a retracement back to this area that is a uh, to the trend line that serves as the resistance at this particular area as you can see so you can see a retracement back to this area then a rejection to the downside so my first take profit is 1.26 164 and then if this level break i'll be looking for the, uh, to take my profit at 1.24075 which is my second take profit but if you check the dsy the dsy is to the upside which means that uh, we'll have stronger dollar in the next couple of days or couple of, uh, of weeks so um gp usd to the downside but we might see a retracement back to this area before the downside move then if this level break then this is my second take profit at 1.24 zero seven five so the next pair i want to check is as in the usd and um there's one important thing i want us to look at here uh we are in a very strong critical support level right here which means that we might experience a pullback at this particular area so where will the pullback uh last or where will the pullback reach before we get to see a rejection so let's zoom it further right here so if you check this one at a time frame we are having a respect of this level right here we serve as a support level so creating a lower eye a lower low lower eye lower low then creating uh this eye then uh a new low right here then come back to reject at this particular area then creating a new low and this new low that it created at this particular area is this critical support level and it has not yet rejected but according to this uh trend line right there uh it's showing the sign of rejection here that we might actually reject and then back to this level so what i'm looking at is uh as in the usd to the downside but they we might see a retracement back to this particular level before we see the continuation to the downside and then according to this uh with this support level we can see here so which tells us that we might even have a pull back to this level and then probably a break to the downside because and it depends on what happened and the fundamental in the and what happened in the fundamental on SD because we have the SD news this week so let's see how it goes but this level is a very critical level so it's we can actually see a pullback here and then we can have a rejection from this particular area or this critical resistance area to to the downside so any pullback you see uh on SD usd to this 0, 0 0.676 is an opportunity for you to look for a bearish setup and then uh the first step of should be this back to this low that is 0 0.59847 and the second take probably should be 0 0.58628 so that's what i'm looking at on the s and the us dollar so the next pair one check is a us dollar card so as i said earlier that most of the opportunity you see this week uh should be is us dollar pairs with commodity currency because we have a lot of fundamentals in the commodity currency that is the uh the canadian dollar the australian dollar and then the nzd so here we see that we have break through this particular we have break this resistant level to the upside right here and then you see this trend line here it tells us that we have break this to the uh to the upside so what are we looking at on us dollar uh the canadian dollar so we are looking at more move to the upside right here so this is where our entry uh should be so let's see how it goes right here our entry can be at this uh, market price or we wait for price to even retest this level of support right here before we see the bullish continuation to the upside so the first take, uh, take profit level is at 1.36 to it to right there so us card usd card um my bias is to the upside on us dollar card and then subsequently we can actually use uh the trend line to determine our entry right here so which means that uh, we can see a retest of this uh, of this trend line right there then a move to 1.36282 right there so Take a uh, take a close watch at the fundamental in the Canadian dollar on Tuesday. So that would okay. Is it on Tuesday? Let's check it back. Uh on on Tuesday, yeah, on Tuesday. So that will give you a clue to 
even ride this trend more and more so let's see how it goes there but my bias is to the upside after breaking through this critical resistance level this very strong resistance level right there and then you can see that um we have break this to the upside which tells us that the buyer as buyers are in position right there then they might push the price to 1.36282 so click uh click on like and then and share this uh this video so the the next pair we want to check is the us dollar japanese yen so you can see in the higher time frame you can see that we have breaking through this resistant level here so us dollar dpy to the upside so the next level we can see right here should be at this price level right there that is a uh, the next level of uh, of resistance so probably we can see a, a let's say retracement back to this level then subsequent to move to 148307 so if you are to use the four hour time frame let's find the entry in the four hour time frame so as you see we have the respect of the trend line here yeah and then we have a fake out at this level then it break back into the area so then it come back to retest then so subsequently we can see a retest of this trend line too and uh, a rejection and a move to one four eight three zero four so that's what i'm looking at on us dollar jpy oh just wait for retracement here because uh if you check this area too uh price can pull back at this area so if you check this area of a resistance too so price can pull back at this area of resistance and come to retest this level before a rejection to the upside if you can see that so that's what i'm looking at i'm looking at a pullback back to this level and then and then if you zoom it further you see that that level is also in demand level right there the price can pull back to and then we'll have a move to the uh, so price can pull back to this demand level right here and tap into this uh demand level and then check back to the uh upside as we know that uh US dollar is strong so the level or uh, the target i'm looking at is uh one four eight three zero seven so the first target if price pull back to this level the first target should be one four four nine uh nine three two that is almost like 150 pips then subsequent uh this and this can happen in the next couple of weeks or this so that is that on the us dollar jpy so the next thing we want to check is that uh, the australian dollar canadian dollar here too if you see this pair too, is at critical support level right here and then we have some fundamentals on aud on tuesday and then on thursday so probably if we see the unemployment and the employment news on friday coming out uh negative uh, positive then we can see this maybe breaking this level but for now us dollar is uh is strong so what i'm looking at here my overall bias is for the price to pull back and then maybe reject at this level to the downside and then the my target here is 0 0.6972 that's what i'm looking at for price to do at that level so i'm looking for price to pull back here and then reject at this level to the downside and the target is 0 0.63972 right there to break this uh this the support level especially if we have the uh disappointing unemployment rate and employment change in the australia dollar so we should have a break of this uh, of this support level to the downside as we have uh, more strength coming into the dsy uh this week so the next pair we want to check is EO japanese yen and if you see this EO japanese yen we are in an uptrend we just have this fake out last week to uh to the downside and then subsequent keep on res uh, respecting that trend line right there and then we have break out this resistance level too so we might pull back into this area before we continue to the outside so i'm waiting for a pullback for price to pull back this to this area and then enter my buy position so you can actually wait for pullback because uh, this eye has been taken out right there so yeah, and it might actually do a deep pullback to this particular area. It might not the pullback might not reject at 157.937. The pullback might actually reject at this level, or uh the pullback might even last to this level to 155.642. 
before we see rejection to the upside. So any rejection you see on EOJPY, and then you now see the rejection should be an opportunity for you to look for a bullish uh, setup at that particular area. So the next pair we want to check is a pounds Canadian dollar. In this pounds Canadian dollar too, we are an uptrend coupled with the with the trend line. So subsequently we can see adjustment to this area and then uh, buyers might come in at this particular level right here because this level is a very stronger is a very strong support level as you can see we have formation of a double bottom here so price might actually come to retest that level then uh my target is 1.73187 so but just wait for a retracement here to retest that particular level because uh this level to this level might want to uh drag the price down to this level and then we can see a break after uh we have already pushed the price to this level because uh we have a this eye it was taken out so probably it might actually pull back to this area then subsequent move to 1.57 okay 1.73187 so the next one to check is the SND card SND card if you check the um the daily time frame you see that uh, we have break this uh this support level of this trend like that we tell you that we are in a, in a downtrend and then we have the SND news the card news uh this week so watch out for the fundamental that will be dropped on those and then uh just need to put the piece of the puzzle together and see your entry right there so here yeah, we can actually see some pullback at this particular area so some pullback might actually comes in at this support level which might come to retest this Resistance level and then we have a rejection back to 0 0.79132 because the old scenario the old bias is to the downside in the higher time frame if you can see it right there so i'm looking for a very bad but a pullback force might happen and they might pull back to this area and they reject back to 0 0.7932 so any adjustment you see on the card an opportunity for you to look for a very setup to 0 0.79312 but watch out for pullback at this level then uh you can watch out for rejection at any of this uh, of this level and then let's say there are two levels i'm looking at right here for the uh pullback to end uh the first level so the first level is here i believe the pullback should end at this particular area then uh, the buyer the seller should come in at that level or for the pullback to end at this level and then seller should come in uh from that level so don't forget to subscribe to the to this uh, the, uh youtube channel for more of this so the next way i want to check is the euro aud euro aud i'm looking for a very setup on euro aud that is a uh, a rejection at this particular level so i will not be on bearish bias if we actually break through this level because if you check the uh, overall of this uh, of this pair we have a very strong resistance level at this level and then this might actually be a fake out here market might actually come back and come to retest this level at this area so let's say it goes on euro aud but i'm actually i'm patiently waiting for a rejection at that level to the downside as you can see uh this is for our time frame and the buyers are already losing their momentum at this particular area you know this you can't compare the momentum of this candle of this one now to all these ones so it means that the buyers actually losing their momentum here so you can see sellers coming back to push the price to 1.6545 so i'm looking out for a uh, selling opportunity at this particular area to the first take profit which is 1.65451 and second take profit which is 1.62782 so that's what I'm looking at on the Euro AUD. Uh, so the last pair I want to check is the TPP AUD. So on the TPP AUD, you can uh, actually see a big resistance here. That is a, as I can see, price might actually pull back from this area. This area is a very, very strong area where price can pull back from. But if you see a break of this area, so what, there's, there are two things I want you to look at on TPP AUD. First look at the fundamental on AUD. If it comes out positive, it means that price will take this. I uh, will take it out. But uh by eventually we have a negative uh AUD news, maybe on Tuesday and then on Thursday, bro. We should have a pullback 
of this pair because uh there are some others selling others at this particular area as you can see so you see that when this price hits this area just it just take the eye out and then and fall massively so this one might actually happen to with this eye mark might be taken out and then and fall massively but if you want to trade with the trend then let's go to the one hour time frame to find entry right there so actually if you want to trade with the trend you know that you are going to uh buy the bp usd right there but you still need to wait for a retracement to enter so probably we might see a retracement to uh back to this level of support right there in the one hour time frame as you can see back to this support right there and then uh if market come back to this level it now depends on what happened on the fundamental before you enter if we have the uh the aud news which if it comes out uh if it comes out disappointing then we should have a rejection at this level to the upside breaking that particular eye right there but if we have it better than expected then we should surely break this to the downside but it should be uh waiting for a pullback because that level there's no how you won't see a pullback from that level so you might actually want to be a pullback trader right there to trade uh this pullback at this level as you can see so this level is a resistant level of the uh trend line because we have a, a respect of this trend line this is the second one and then this is the third one so this one I actually pull back to this area and you can see a drop in price so i might look for sell, selling opportunity on dbp aud and it depends on if i see a rejection from this level and subsequently you can also see a double top at that level the price has also formed a double top at this particular level which might actually reject to the downside so which means that uh, we have the first top right here and then we have the second top and don't forget that this level is a very strong resistance level so we might have price drop back to 1.92372 so watch out for this uh on dbp aud so this is the pairs i'm looking to trade this week don't forget to click like subscribe and share to your loved ones so that they can learn uh about this and give me more motivation to do more videos in future and then we have um the link to the broker in the description uh box just click the link of our verified broker that is spot forest and register they have a very uh tight spread and if you choose their pro account they have zero spread on their zero to zero point five spread on their pro account and then minimum of hundred dollar deposit and they don't charge swap so click on the link deposit and we have the link to the verify pro firm in the description box so click on the link of the any of it the my funded effects and then my forest fund and then register your desire uh pro firm ranging from five thousand dollars upward which is forty nine dollar for both of the profit and then you can just go to their twitter you see uh any of their promo announcement in their twitter to use the coupon code so this is a weekly forest forecast see you next week